easily one of the most well-rounded vehicles on the market today that isn't a crossover. The 2022 Civic receives an attractive redesign, but will still uphold its dependable personality and reputation. The Civic is the best friend that will always have your back and will always bail you out. And there's a Civic for almost everyone. There is a sedan, a hatchback, like what we have here, or with more power, you have the SI, the newly released Type R. Then there's numerous trims to pick from. You have the LX, the Sport, the EXL, or the Sport Touring. Ours here is the Sport trim, and it has a base MSRP of 24,750. And yes, I know, we're very late to the game with this video. It's just one of the struggles of living on the West Coast, but it's for a good reason, because the Civic continues to sell as soon as they arrive. The powertrain remains unchanged, and as far as the hatchback is concerned, there are two available. Our sport trim here is equipped with a two liter naturally aspirated engine. It's producing 158 horsepower and 138 pound feet of torque. And so you'll get up to 29 miles to the gallon in the city and up to 37 on the freeway, which is freaking incredible right now. Then there is a more powerful 1.5 liter turbo engine that's producing 180 horsepower and 177 pound feet of torque. This is only available on the EXL and the Sport Touring trim. The cherry on top is that there is a manual transmission available on the Sport and Sport Touring trims. Ours though is a CVT. I'm so sorry. I also want to follow up with the fact that I learned how to drive stick in my first 7th gen Civic and I have not owned an automatic since, but I digress. So as I mentioned, this 11th gen has been completely redesigned and the hatch is going to have a little bit more slope in the front and the back. For like the lack of a better description, you could say that it's sort of more egg shaped, but I feel like with the 10th gen Civic, that hatch started looking less hatchy and a little bit more like a fastback or four door coupe. And that continues on to this style as well. With the Sport, you will have LED headlights, and I'm loving the redesign of the headlights. Everything looks a lot more aggressive. I'm loving how this the paint color continues past your hood, and everything just looks a lot uh, more modern. The Sport will come with glossy black 18 inch alloy wheels. You also have gloss black side mirrors. These would be body colored otherwise. And then it also has a smart lock so you can lock and unlock your car without ever getting your keys out of your pocket or digging through your purse just with the touch of your finger. So from this angle, you can probably really see what I mean that it looks more like a fastback rather than an actual hatch, but it is. Um, so this redesign is gorgeous back here. You have your brake light that goes all the way across to the back. Also interesting touch, it looks like it doesn't have an exhaust, but I swear it's down there. And then opening it up, the big um, pros of having the hatchback compared to the sedan is all of the cargo space back here. And it's really interesting the way that they did the cargo cover so that you can have things concealed. So it's half of it is up here and you can literally pull it down if you would like. I'm making it look a lot more difficult than what it is right now, I swear. <laughs> We're gonna keep on going here. And then the other half of it, you would just pull across and latch right there. So kind of a really convenient and easy way of keeping things concealed. Cause then you don't have a cargo cover that you have to pop all the way out and then store it somewhere. And then this is a 60, 40 rear seat. So you fold that down and you have so much space. Seriously, so many checked bags can fit back here. So even though the length of the hatchback is a few inches shorter than the sedan, you still have lots of leg room in the back seat. Now, this seat is currently adjusted for my driving position, which is 
pretty near all the way forward. However, even if we were to adjust this back to like here, we'd still have so much leg room and it's pretty comfortable. Um, this back seat also has some faux leather wrapping around the edges of the seats and in your middle seat here. I do want to mention that there's no charging in the back seat of the sport trim. There's also no armrest and no cup holders, but you do have floor mats. One thing that needs to be mentioned that you won't find in the sport trim is the addition of wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and wireless charging in the top SI and sport touring trims. The sport does, however, have connected Android Auto and connected Apple CarPlay that you can see here displayed in our seven inch infotainment system. Also in those top trims, they did upgrade to a larger nine inch infotainment system. It's incredibly easy to use. There's not a lot of menu options here, just a way to see your connection with your phone. You can adjust it and like all of your settings are in here, super easy to navigate. And then moving down, you'll see we have that honeycomb grill style that I talked about wanting to blow bubbles with in the HRV video. Still want to do that here and then you have really easy climate controls all knobs that look really really nice and then moving down further you do have a kind of a funny textured trim piece around your gear shift and your cup holders i also love where these cup holders are located because they're not behind the shifter they're to the right which makes it a lot easier for you to um, access your beverages <laughs> uh, you also here like we mentioned this is available with a manual transmission <laughs> but this is the cvt you do have paddle shifters behind your steering wheel here and then you also can access your drive modes which you'll get e um, economy if you're in like you know fuel saving mode falling on the budget <laughs> or you have sport and you have normal driving modes there uh, it's also where you have a brake hold in your electronic parking brake there and then moving up you do get a leather wrapped steering wheel and lots of safety functionalities to control within here like with the cvt not in the manual you don't get this only in the cvt will you get the adaptive cruise control in traffic jams so that will keep everything centered within the lanes as long as the lanes are clearly marked and then your seating surfaces are cloth there you have like some nice fake leather trim around the outsides here um, that's very the same leather full leather trim that's on the back row as well. A few other things to mention. One thing that I really really like is you get a sliding sun visor. This is a big deal, honestly. What the fact that not every car has this is a pity. It's so simple to do this. <laughs> So take note, auto manufacturers. One last thing that I want to mention before we wrap this up is the very first thing that I noticed when I sat down in this was the incredible visibility throughout this car. Part of that is because these A-pillars are so small, there's just nothing blocking your view. Same thing with the blind spots. There's really not that many. You can see everything out of here. The 2022 Civic received KBB's Best Buy Award for a reason, because it's not trying too hard, it doesn't have to, it looks really nice, it's at a more accessible price. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment section below, let me know what you think of that redesign, and shout out to Selena's Honda for hooking it up with our Civic today. Thanks!